Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through how to buy an ETF on the Vanguard platform here in the UK. Have no affiliation with Vanguard. I'm literally just trying to help out beginner investors. I know how daunting and scary it is for beginner investors to make their first investment. I'm hoping with this video, it's gonna be a lot easier for you and it takes away much of the stress as we go through this process. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I've navigated to the homepage for Vanguard Investor. .co.uk. It might look a little bit different uh, in the US or any other um, country. I guess to be fair, the steps are going to be quite similar. It's not going to be that much different. In terms of UK investors, we do have a tax-free investment account that you can um, put your investments into. Um, it's actually called a Stocks and Shares ISA. Vanguard have called it a Vanguard ISA. It's important to note that you can only contribute to one Stocks and Shares ISA every tax year that's contribute not open you can only contribute to one otherwise you will get into tax problems don't try and do that okay only one and if you already have a stocks and shares isa that you're already contributing to it no fear you can still invest in a general investment account the only difference is is that you're going to be subjected to capital gains tax so that's what you have to be mindful of if your investments grow massively in your general investment account and then you sell it over a certain threshold, you are going to be liable for some capital gains tax versus with the stocks and shares ISA, you won't have those capital gains tax with a stocks and shares ISA or an ISA in particular. There's lots of different types. I've got a video in the past that you can go and check. I'll link it above or below uh, for you to go check out just to see the different types of ISAs. Generally, we all have about 20,000 limit, ISA limit every tax year. If you want to put all of that 20,000 limit, you want to use all of that in your stocks and shares ISA, feel free to do that. I mean, most people probably make sense for them to um, do that. So let's jump right into opening an account. So we'll go with a Vanguard ISA. Uh, so we click open account. Uh, so if you're new to Vanguard, select open account. And then it gives you all the important information which uh, Vanguard should do. It'll tell you um, how much their account fee is good. So that's what I like about Vanguard. It's very, very transparent. It'll tell you if you're eligible to um, invest in an, an ISA again. Uh, and then it gives you the warnings of your investments will go up as well as, as down. There is no guarantee with, with investing. You are definitely taking a risk with it. And it also says that Vanguard isn't giving you um, any investment advice, as I am not either. I'm not giving you any investment advice. I'm just showing you the process to make it easier for you if you choose uh, to go with Vanguard. And I am going to be doing this with other accounts as well. I'm going to do it free trade, which I have. I'm going to do it trading 2 on 2 that I have. Hargreaves Lansdowne, AJ Bell, pretty much all of them. So you can see what the process is like end to end and you'll see that it's not actually that difficult. So, okay, so we've gone through this. If you want to read, you know, all this stuff, ISA declaration, all of that sort of stuff, be my guest, go through it and read it. And so proceed. And then it tells you to basically choose your investment. I actually was testing this process before, so I chose one, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it. Um, and then now it's gonna go back to your basket is currently empty. Add more investment, so you do a plus there. And it seems like you can add more than one, right? So I've talked about a few Vanguard um, investments in a previous video, which I'll link up above. So I'll choose one of them that I've spoken, so a global one, for example, right? So not the ESG one, let's talk about All World FTSE, All World, sorry, FTSE All World, ETF VWRL, right? So, okay, so that's the one I want, right? And then I would, if it were me, when I first started investing with Fidelity about five years ago, I preferred to do a regular monthly payment for, you know, for these reasons, right? Firstly, it meant that it would keep me investing every month. Um, two, automate it, right? I don't have to move money from my bank account to Fidelity, it was just done automatically and they just invested 
in my chosen's investments automatically i did i just slept at night i didn't even have to even worry about it i used to just check it every few months see how it was performing and that was it it was so like straightforward for me it's no different to if you think about your pension right your pension comes out of your pay and then it gets put into an investment and then you're not going to touch your, your pension for like 40 50 years right very very similar concept so those are the reasons why i'll say another reason is if you have a regular monthly payment it will get you to continue investing in times like where we are now, where the stock market is down and we get all these negative headlines. In fact, you're gonna even forget that this happened. So the benefit of keeping you invested and automate will make sure that you are buying at cheaper prices and that you can profit in, in the future. So yeah, I'm gonna put um, regular payment here. So let's say a hundred pounds, right? Cool. 100 pounds per month right and that's the only one i'm going to to invest in right so you see at the bottom it says okay your total regular monthly payment is 100 pounds and then it's it's got my you know my remaining ice allowance which we said was uh 20 000. okay so i click next and then you have to fill in uh, your personal details in this section and then you have to then give yourself a username and a password before you can um, complete uh, your order so then I guess go ahead and uh, create your username password and things like that you also have to provide a phone number I know it says recommended but you have to it forces you to add a mobile number I guess for security reasons so somebody else isn't trying to steal your investments and then they reiterate your investment options we selected the FTSE all world ETF if you want to read some key investor information about it I would go ahead and go through that before you make your purchase just to make sure but hopefully before you've even got to this stage of buying you've done all your research beforehand they've got a lot of this information there and honestly um it's not that complicated to look for the information at first it might seem like it's complicated but once you read it after a little bit of time you'll definitely get it and then it tells me how much i will be charged for this investment so this is 0.22 percent per year and then my regular monthly payment is um a hundred pounds and then yeah, it just, it just basically says like your total annual cost of um, investing. But before you can actually proceed, what's gonna happen? Look, if I select confirm, they need your bank account details. They're not gonna let you invest without that. So add your bank account details by selecting add bank account and then you'll be on your way. And then you select your tick and then you confirm. And then boom, that is it. You have started investing in Vanguard. Very, very straightforward, isn't it? It is so simple. When you look at that, you think, wow, actually, Atto, that was so quick. And to be honest, you know, investing is that simple at times. And I don't want to like understate it in terms of like investing, you know, making money in investing is easy. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the process of actually buying your investments isn't as difficult or as complicated as people think the complicated part is figuring out what to invest in understanding the stock market but to be fair when you're investing in etfs and index funds you don't have to have a day-to-day -day understanding of what the stock market is you don't have to have a day-to-day -day understanding of technicals or anything like that when it comes to etf and again go through my previous videos where i talked about you know investing in ETF for beginners or you know the best free Vanguard ETFs those sort of videos it shows the sort of things that I think that you should look at to be fair Vanguard try to offer you as much information as possible what you need when it's an ETF you need to understand what the ETFs in investing in is it quite diversified is the fees low what's its performance been like for the five to 10 years to understand what his track record is so you can have a very good understanding of maybe this is what i'll get in the future and that's pretty much it vanguard is a renowned asset manager so a lot of people do trust um, their money with it so what did you think of that process let me know if you have any more questions it's been great speaking to you if you do enjoy content like this make sure to tap the subscribe button below hit the like button to support the growth of this channel and I'll see you in the next video.